Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today is 10.4a inscribed angles. On the screen, you'll see your exit question. Today should be a very short day filled with just a little vocab and some brief overviews of some of the theorems that you'll see in 10.4. If you are missing class on 10.4 uh, day one, you need to do the activity preceding the section. If you don't do the classroom activity, you will not understand a major portion of this section. And I'm not going to talk about that particular section of that section in this video because we're doing it in class. First up, a little bit of vocab again. Inscribed angle and intercepted arc. These are extremely wordy definitions of which a picture is totally sufficient. An inscribed angle is an angle with its vertex on the circle and the sides of that angle contain two chords of the circle in which the vertex belongs. So that's what it looks like right there. An intercepted arc, the only thing you really have to remember about that is that it is on the interior of the inscribed angle. So we're not talking about this arc right here. We're not talking about that arc right there. We're talking about the arc that is contained inside the inscribed angle. Two more vocab words, inscribed polygon and circumscribed circle. So an inscribed polygon is any polygon that is drawn so that all of its vertices are directly on top of the circle. And a circumscribed circle is a circle that contains at least one polygon, inscribed polygon. On to the theorems. If two inscribed angles of a circle intercept the same arc, so the intercepted arc is the same for two inscribed angles, which is kind of difficult to imagine, but you can imagine that if I drag this point along the circle, you could get two inscribed angles that have the same intercepted arc. If you have those two angles, those two angle measurements will be identical. They will be congruent. Next theorem says that if you have a right angle, right triangle that is inscribed in a circle, then the hypotenuse of that right triangle is a diameter of the circle. And likewise, if you draw a triangle whose, which, in which one of the sides is a diameter, then it will be a right triangle. So this is an if and only if statement. Very powerful. Example. Find the measure of ZXW, and for some reason the book had the W cut off, so the W is cut off, but that, that is a W right there. Take a look at that drawing, see if you can figure out what the measure of ZXW would be. Well, ZXW and ZYW share an intercepted arc, intersected arc ZW. So therefore, the inscribed angles ZYW and ZXW must be congruent and must have the same measure, which is 72 degrees. There's your assignment. I'll see you in class, or I'll see you here next time.